Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meet Shah once again with another video from our video series based on the subject GST, also known as Goods and Service Tax. This is our second video under our video series based on GST. In this video, we are going to learn basically about a new and interesting topic called as Composition Levy. Okay, we will be learning about some rules and then we are going to pick up two problem sums in order to solve. Okay, now this is again a very important sum from the exam point of view for all the semesters. Okay, so let us see first the basic rules, what rules are required to be learned and let us try to understand what is composition levy and then we will be taking up two problem sum which are university based sums. Okay, so if you even solve those two sums, you will be able to solve each and every sum from each and every textbook based on composition levy. So chalo, let us see what do you mean by composition levy. Okay, we'll first go through the small meaning of what is composition levy. The composition levy scheme is a very simple hassle-free compliance scheme for small taxpayers. It is voluntary and optional scheme. So it is not based on you know those who want to opt for this. Okay, so it's not a compulsory, it's voluntary. It is basically for all the small taxpayers. A taxpayer registered under composition levy scheme has to pay an amount equal to a certain fixed percentage of his annual turnover as tax to the government. So now this is not, uh, you know, product based or, you know, product tax rate based scheme, but this is for all small traders. Okay, once they are particular, you know, turnover, okay, if it doesn't exceed a particular turnover, then you'll have to just pay a, a particular percentage on the entire uh, aggregate turnover. That is the meaning of composition levy and now it is at the option of the seller or uh, you know, the taxpayer whether he wants to apply for composition scheme or not. So in simple term, this particular scheme is only available to a small taxpayer. Okay, it is a voluntary scheme and it is a scheme whereby a small percentage of tax will be charged on the total aggregate turnover or total annual turnover as you can say. Now, in order to understand what is this total annual turnover, we'll be first going through some rules and thereafter we'll see what does the turnover, you know, mean. Okay, what does turnover, how to calculate that aggregate turnover. Okay, so now first let us see what are the some rules based on composition levy. Okay, now there is something called as a limit. Okay, we have aggregate turnover car limit. So there are two rules. Number one. For all the special category states, Arunachal Pradesh, Manipur, Meghalaya, Mizoram, Nagaland, Sikkim, Tripura, and Uttarakhand. Okay, so all the major northeast states which are available, they are considered as a special category state. So for them, there is a special rule for composition levy, and that is that the annual turnover. Okay, the annual turnover, the limit is 75 lakhs during the financial year. 75 lakhs is the annual turnover limit for all the special category states. For rest of India, that is the other state other than the special category state, uh, which includes Assam, Jammu and Kashmir and all other states, okay, other than all the special category states. The limit for annual aggregate turnover is 1.5 crore during the financial year. So these are the only two rules that you have to remember in order to solve any sum based on composition levy. If the person is from the special category state, then the limit is 75 lakh. That's like the threshold limit. And if you're from the other state, your limit is 1.5 crore. Only two rules to be remembered. One for special category, the other one for rest of India. 75 lakhs and 1.5 crores. That's number one, the limit and the rule that you have to remember. Second, now comes the most important part. What do you mean by aggregate turnover? When we say we have to, everything has been on aggregate turnover. So what is this aggregate turnover? Now aggregate turnover to remember in the most simplest manner. Okay, I've made these two things. What it includes and what it excludes. Okay, only have to keep that in mind. First, we will see what it includes. It includes all your taxable supplies. So anything which you are supplying which is taxed will come under aggregate turnover. Secondly, all the exempt supplies. 
exam meaning on which tax is not available so it includes supplying goods which are of nil rate zero tax rate supply which are fully exempted okay or non taxable supply so basically anything that you are selling on which tax is not applicable the moment you are selling it is a supply okay it will be added to your turnover next exports of goods and services again you are exporting meaning you are providing okay anything which you are providing anything which you are selling anything which you are supplying all that gets added to your aggregate turnover also all the interstate supplies okay that from different state if you are going to supply anything again all that thing gets added to your aggregate turnover what are the thing that does not get added inward supply anything which you are purchasing under any reverse mechanism or reverse charge mechanism all the taxes that is gst composition says cgst sgst utgst igst any kind of tax uh, which is already included you cannot include that in your turnover so your turnover is basically in simple term anything which you are selling anything which you are supplying anything which you are providing anything you purchase or any other taxes cannot get added to your aggregate turnover okay so two things that to remember number one if you are from special category 75 lakhs if you are from other state 1.5 crores you have to add only anything which is your supplying nothing to be added which is other than supplying okay so these are the two major rules that you have to remember next the tax rate so now your composition levy has been divided in four categories number one the category of registered person and rate have been given to us so there are two columns so first manufacturers other than manufacturers of notified goods so if you are a manufacturer of goods other than the notified goods then you will be charged 1% of your aggregate turnover which gets split up into half sgst and half will go to cgst or utgst accordingly okay so if you are a manufacturer the rate which will be applicable will be 1% okay other traders again it is a 1% if you are a, if you have a restaurant and a service and outdoor catering service so basically anything related to restaurant you have 5% and supplier of only services or mixed supplier that is goods and services if you are a supplier then it will be 6% so if you are a manufacturer of goods 1% if you are a trader 1% restaurant 5% and other than that if you are supplying any services then 6% majorly which is asked in your exam is always the 1% part okay now in the first point when they said manufacturer other than manufacturer of notified goods meaning if you are selling any of the notified goods on this composition levy is not applicable so now what do you mean by notified goods okay uh, notified goods are goods on which composition levy is not applicable for example number 1 ice cream and other edible ice whether or not uh, whether or not containing cocoa pan masala and tobacco and manufacturers of tobacco substitute so these are the three things on which uh, composition levy is not applicable other than that any other goods which are there you can apply or you can be eligible for composition levy okay so these are the basic rules which had to be kept in mind for solving composition levy now let us see how to solve the sum okay all the university type sum based on composition levy now this is the very first question um we'll just read out the question once and then we'll see uh, we'll try to figure out what the question is asking us to find and how to find those uh, the solution to that question Gayatri Limited, a trading concern in Maharashtra. Now, this is very important. The state, okay. Now Maharashtra comes un under other state, so the limit is 1.5 crore. If you are supplying, if your aggregate turnover is less than 1.5 crore, then you will be eligible to opt for the composition scheme. Okay. So now uh, concern is in Maharashtra, a registered dealer, and wants to opt for composition scheme. it furnishes you with the following information for the year 1819 kindly advise are they eligible to opt for the composition scheme so number 1 they were asking us whether they are eligible secondly if yes calculate the composition tax liability that is sgst 0.5 and cgst 0.5% if you look carefully it is a trading so the rule was for traders it is always 1% so they have already split and given us 0.5 for cgst 0.5 for sgst the break up of supplies are as follows so we have intra state supply intra state supply again intra state supply we have three different supply to three different people 
वैल्यू ऑफ इनवर्ट सप्लाई दैट इज वन इनवर्ट सप्लाई एंड अगेन लास्टली अगेन वी हैव एन इंट्रा स्टेट सप्लाई सो वी हैव फोर सप्लाई एंड वन इनवर्ट सप्लाई द रूल वॉज एनीथिंग विच यू आर सप्लाइंग ओके ओनली दैट कैन गेट एडेड टू आर एग्रीगेट टर्न ओवर एनी इनवर्ट सप्लाई दैट इज अ परचेज कैन नॉट गेट एडेड टू आर aggregate turnover so now let us see how to solve this sum in four simple steps number 1 we need to first calculate the aggregate turnover so i'll write a number 1 calculation of aggregate turnover very simple we'll have particular an amount we'll add up all the supply ka total and we'll check whether it is matching our threshold limit or not okay two columns particular an amount the very first is intra state supply of exempted goods it doesn't ma matter whether the goods are taxable or not okay if it is a supply it will get added in your aggregate turnover so yes intra state supply since it is a supply 13 lakhs we will consider that second again intra state supply of taxable goods of mr k again you are supplying though it has some tax rate it doesn't matter that 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 percentage doesn't matter at all you just have to take the total of the uh, the supply okay that is 9 lakh 50000 we will consider that third again interest rate supply again you are supplying to mr a some tax rate pay doesn't matter the moment you are supplying the value gets added so that's 3 lakh 45000 okay value of inward supply no that is purchase so that cannot be considered in our aggregate turnover so we are not noting it down next interest rate supply yes to mr q again it is a supply the amount is 10 lakhs we consider it okay so there were four supplies mentioned here okay so now the next step is very simple we just need to add up and check so 13 lakhs plus 9 lakh 50 plus 3 lakh 45000 plus 10 lakh the total comes to around 35 lakh 95000 now from here very interesting things we need to note down all the rules now the first rule was that since he is from maharashtra other state the threshold limit is 1.5 crores now the rule for composition levy was that if the person Okay, uh, aggregate turnover is less than the threshold limit. He will be eligible for applying for the composition scheme. Since 35 lakh 95 will less than 1.5 crore, we can state that since Gayatri Limited aggregate turnover is rupees 35 lakh 95 thousand, which is less than the threshold limit of 1.5 crore, Gayatri Limited is eligible to opt for the composition scheme. So the first question, whether they were eligible, we have fulfilled that. We found that first answer. Okay, very simple. Just have to add, check the value, and apply into the rule. Now they ask us to calculate the tax, you know, the composition tax liability. So step number three will be calculation of composition tax liability. The rates are 0.5 percent and 0.5 percent. Percentage always on the total aggregate turnover. Again, two columns. We'll have particulars and amount. First. we need to find the cgst so we write cgst at the rate of 0.5% of the total aggregate turnover that is 35 lakh 95000 so into 0.5% the value that we should get is 17975 similarly for sgst okay same percentage same amount so the total also will be same so the total total composition tax liability for gaitri limited will be 35950 they asked us to find two things these are the two things that we had we have found lastly in step number 4 we just mentioned things that we didn't consider or we didn't take so you know we never took a uh, value of inward supply so we'll just mention step number 4 may the value of inward supply on which tax is payable on reverse charge mechanism i just noted on this entire statement is not to be included this is it with this we were able to solve the very first sum based on composition levy very simple sum just need to follow this particular step okay so i hope everyone have understood this we are going to take up another sum you know to finally clear all other doubts okay chalo let us see now the second sum Okay, again we'll read out the question once. Uh, Speed Limited, a trading again a trader, one person in Maharashtra again other state that is 1.5 crore ka limit wants to opt for the composition scheme. It furnishes you the following detail. Are they eligible and calculate the tax liability? Okay, again they are giving you all the intrastate supply and invert supply ka details, and they are telling you all the amounts are exclusive of GST, but it doesn't include any GST. Okay, it shouldn't include also. If it includes, we'll have to remove it out. 
So again, we have to apply those four steps. Number one, we first calculate the aggregate turnover. Format will be particular amount. First is interstate supply. Yes, it will appear, which is 10 lakhs. Again, interstate supply of taxable goods. Again, 30 lakhs. We will note it down. Interstate supply of taxable goods to Mr. Jaitley, 20 lakhs. Again, it is a supply. Yes. Interstate supply of taxable goods to Gatkari, 20 lakhs. Again, we will, you know, we'll add it. Value of inward supply. Inward purchase cannot get added to our turnover. So we will exclude it. Okay, so we have only these four things 10 lakh, 30 lakh, 20 lakh, 20 lakh. When we add it, our total comes to 80 lakhs. Now, let us check the rule. The rule was if the supply is less than 1.5 crore, because this is a uh, other state, if the person's turnover is less than 1.5 crore, he will be eligible to apply for the scheme. Since it is 80 lakhs, the amount is less than 1.5 crores, so he will be eligible to apply for the scheme. Okay, so we will note down now the answer will be since speed limited aggregate turnover is rupees 80 lakhs which is less than the threshold limit of 1.5 crores speed limited is eligible to opt for the composition scheme very simple sum okay the first part is done now we need to calculate the tax liability again very simple calculation of composition tax liability will be 0.5 percent on the entire aggregate turnover so again particular rupees it will be zero uh, we'll have to find cgst that is 0.5 percent of 80 lakhs which comes to 40,000. again sgst again that will be 40,000. so the total tax liability of speed limited will be rupees 80,000. so we have calculated both uh, are they eligible and secondly the tax liability and lastly we'll mention in step number four things that we haven't taken so the value of invert supply and which tax is payable on reverse charge is not included okay so with that our second sum is also cleared okay again a very simple just need to follow these four steps and you will be able to solve any sum based on this particular topic at the university level so i hope everyone are cleared with this particular chapter that is composition levy under the subject gst so with that we will be ending this video here okay stay tuned for many more videos uh, in our video series based on gst so with that thank you